Today's video is going to be on snare drum height angle placement. So before you watch this video, make sure that you have your throne at an optimum height. If you don't know what that is, watch my throne height video and make sure that you're properly seated before beginning to mess with your snare drum. So when you're moving the snare drum around, you can move, mess with a few things. You can mess with the angle of the head and the height of the stand and the distance between you and the snare drum. So here I have what I think is a fairly optimum placement for my playing style. When I put my hands in a nice relaxed snare drumming position, the sticks fall roughly at the center of the drum. When I play a rim shot, my hand clears my leg. I'm not having to get out of the way of my leg in some crazy manner in order to hit a rim shot, but you can see I'm not having to lift my arms up unnaturally to get to the snare drum head. So I would say in every aspect this is probably about exactly where I need this snare drum. Now here's an example of the snare drum that's too low. If my hands are in an optimum playing position, I can't actually even reach the drum. In order to reach the drum I have to drop my hands, and when I do that, I can still play but I can't hit any rim shots without contorting my hand inside or outside of my leg because my leg is just physically in the way. Also, this causes me to have a tendency to hunch over to get back into what I consider a comfortable playing position just even for regular non-rim shot notes. So this isn't ideal. In this position, I feel like the snare drum is a bit too high for me. If I put my hands at a very comfortable position to play, I'm almost already hitting a rim shot. This means if I don't want to hit accidental rim shots, I'm going to have to raise my arms into a less comfortable position to make sure that that happens, and that's not the ideal way to play either. In this case, I've set the snare drum up too far away from me. The way I can tell it's too far away is that this is my normal comfortable playing position and my sticks are barely touching the edge of the drum. In order to get to the center of the drum where we typically want to play, I have to extend my arms out. This is just going to cause me unnecessary stress the whole time that I'm playing um, because my arms really want to hang here. So that's just too far away. In this position, the snare drum is too close because you can see I have to pull my arms back from their resting position to get to the center of the head. My normal resting position would put my sticks way at the edge of the drum, whereas I want to play in the center and I have to suck my arms back to do that. That's not ideal because it's a lot of extra work that I shouldn't have to do. Now let's talk about snare drum head tilt angle. So I have my snare drum tilted just slightly back toward me because in my playing I don't do a ton of rim shots. I'd like to have them available to me, but typically I just play off the head. So I tilt it back towards myself a little bit so that I don't have to worry about accidental rim shots, uh, but I can still get to them. This would make rim shots nearly impossible, having the snare drum tilted very steeply toward you. It's okay to play, it sort of rebounds your sticks back at you instead of up into the air, but it's if you really don't want to experience any rim shots. I feel like I want to lean back when I have the drum angled this way, so that's not a good tendency. This could work though if you really wanted to do that. Here's the snare drum in a relatively flat orientation. A lot of people like to play with the snare drum flat because it makes rim shot access really easy. You'll generally lower the snare just slightly from where it was if it was tilted because now the rim has come up relative to the rest of the head. This is a good neutral setting. The sticks rebound vertically off the head so it's really predictable and it's easy to play this way so this is another good setting. Here I have the drum angled away from me. Now the only reason you would really do this is if you are a traditional grip player. Traditionally snare drums hung to the side and away from you because it was mounted on a strap rather than some kind of harness. So if you were a marching snare drummer you had to use the traditional grip in order to play on a snare drum like that. If you're still using the traditional grip the snare drum being in that tilted orientation away from you is sometimes easier to play. A lot of people take this idea and move it farther, they'll actually tilt it away from them and to their right side, allowing for flatter access from this traditional gripped hand and for better accents. But if you're playing in matched grip, this really makes no sense at all. 